Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. Coming at you from Lehigh in my hotel room before I head over to the game to cover the game tonight. Please check out my Instagram, Bork6789, and my Twitter, JJBork26, where I will be posting a bunch of stuff to follow the game. And people that are friends with me on Snapchat, I'll also have some stuff on there, but I don't give out my Snapchat to just anybody. Um, into tonight's game, the Phantoms are going to be shorthanded, of course, because you got Shusko, Kase, Strom, and a bunch of others. Sandstrom is up with the taxi squad. You got a bunch of guys on the taxi squad uh, from the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. And that's going to keep the team shorthanded. But Tanner Lozinski is supposed to be back for tonight's game, according to the great Tony Andrakis. If you don't follow him on Twitter, you definitely should. Um, and he's a guy you definitely should follow for sure. And it says Linus Sandin is also supposed to be available to return. So it's going to be very exciting watching the Ohio State product of Tanner Lozinski. And Linus Sandin, who came over from overseas, of course, the brother of Rasmus Sandin, who is going to be debuting tonight for the Phantoms along with Tanner. So that's going to be great to watch. Zane McIntyre has been good all season. I would have to presume he's still going to be in net since Sandstrom is not down and he's still on the taxi squad as far as I know. So I think this is going to be a great game so far thus far this year. The high, excuse me, is 0-1 against Binghampton. But... <clears throat> I think um, Lehigh's 2-0-1 and ahead of them in the standings because 2-1, 0-1 puts Binghampton a little bit behind because of that one in the last column there. Um, so Lehigh's doing well. They both have five points. Uh, goals for is eight for Lehigh to 12 for them. Goals against is 12 for Binghampton, so you can score on them. And uh, Lehigh's only seven. They've been one of the better teams early on at limiting goals, in my opinion. Uh, even with the shorthanded team tonight, I think their defense will still step up. Hogberg and many others will still step up to really, really play a good, concise game. I also like how Egress plays in the minors. I really like how um, the product from the Reading Royals, who aren't playing this year. Ralph Kudiemi has been able to look on the ice. It hasn't translated to points yet, but I do like his on-ice production. You got Lazinski, you got McMaster at forward, you got LeBurge, you got um, Millman on defense, Morin um, shouldn't be in it. He's a guy that's on the taxi squad. He's still listed on the roster here, but you got Sandine. You got Willman, who should have about seven goals. If he was playing post, he would have about seven goals. The dude's playing lights out this year. Zay Wisdom's playing amazing. Watherspoon's playing solid. He's a very good uh, AHL defenseman. Um, he's a guy that brings veteran established veteran presence to the team, I should say. And uh, he does a really good job of doing it. Wyatt Wiley's look good this far. Uh, Logan Day has stepped in on some plays. Uh, he stepped in for that one goal the other game, which was very good to see. He's been a nice pickup for this team. And uh, Zamula's still raw as the great Bob Rotruck, the Phantoms announcer, would say, but he's a good player. He's a guy you see, um, oh, excuse me, Zamula, um, is a player that you see a lot of good stuff from. Then you see a couple plays that's not so sexy, but, I mean, that happens. That's how it is when you're still growing and learning the game. Uh, you're not going to have everything look like a million bucks. Um but he's a guy that's very exciting to watch and very fun to watch. Um, it's going to be interesting not seeing Kasha and Shushko in the lineup. Shushko is one of the best shooters we have in our system. He's a pure sniper, a pure goal scorer. He's still raw, but I thought he actually looked pretty solid. He's a very good player that plays with this, his wits and his smarts. He doesn't um, have the most overwhelming overall skill, but he can shoot the puck with the best of them. And I look for him to have a, um, well, actually, no, he's not playing tonight. So I would look, if he was playing, I would look for him to have a good game. I actually look for him to have another good game tomorrow if he's in the lineup because he just looked very smart. But I don't think he's going to be in the lineup because the breaking news was Friedman's going to play wing tomorrow, which is definitely an interesting move in itself. I wonder if that means Moore will move back to defense as an extra defenseman or uh, what they're going to do there. Or if Fried's will play some defense as well as forward or more and et cetera, et cetera. You got a lot of versatility there, so you have to see uh, what's going on. Um, in terms of tonight's game, I think the Phantoms, even shorthanded, are going to play a really good game. They're very good in home openers. I think they're going to be able to take this one. Uh, they've been very, very, very productive in home openers, and I don't think that's going to change tonight. I feel like this team is going to continue to play well. They're going to have a good night and they're going to continue to perform in the home openers. They beat, I think it was Rochester in their first home opener ever. Road Truck wrote in his article in the 90s at the great Wachovia Spectrum 3-1. to one. 
So uh, this team is very good at home openers. They have played very well since coming to Lehigh. I believe they're four and two, if I'm not mistaken, uh, since coming back to Lehigh, or coming to Lehigh Valley after being the Philadelphia fan, the Adirondack fan, and then so on and so forth. So this team has been doing good things in home openers since coming here to Lehigh. I look for them to continue to do that tonight, even shorthanded, because it's great to be able to get the skill of Lozinski, who's a very good hockey player. He's a guy that was a great pickup by the Flyers. He's from a very good system of Ohio State hockey. And then Linus Sandin played in a very good league overseas. Is a guy that's going to be a good bottom six NHL or most likely, and he's going to get to debut in the AHL tonight. It might honestly already be on some NHL teams because when you sign a free agent from overseas that play well overseas, you don't always give them AHL time. It's just he was injured at the start of the season. He couldn't get in the groove yet, so now you're going to give him AHL time. I would not be shocked if he's up with the Flyers in about two to three weeks max. But this has been a preview to the Binghampton Devils and the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. For Sports Fanatic News, this is the next episode of the Ghostly Take of Lehigh Valley Phantoms podcast. Hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed what you listened to. We really appreciate it. And have a great, safe, and pleasant night. And enjoy the game, everybody. Peace out.